and how I'm going to be talking play all together. Right. We'll summarize them. We're going to be talking. Can I start? Okay. That's fine. Okay. So we had the Sifa in Chalik Chakei start with a question. And this question really opens up the whole discussion of Amunah. We had a question, why does the Yedishter start the story of Avram with, without any mention of Urkazim? Urkazim was like a major Messiah. Urkazim was when Avram of Inu threw himself into a fire. I mean, what could be a bigger Messiah than, than Urkazim? Nimrod threw him. Nimrod threw him into the fire, right? But that Yisroyin is not mentioned in the Torah. It's not mentioned in the Torah. Medrash is mentioned, not in the Torah itself. So this is a question that Olam Aparshim asks. Why isn't it mentioned? So the Rebbe explains like this. Avram Avinu with Or Kazin is no different than a doctor going to Africa. To put it in my own way. A doctor going to Africa to cure disease and thereby endangering himself and dying from his mission of curing someone in Africa. Humans, this is my question. Humans have the ability to dedicate themselves to a mission. That's not a Yiddish Indian. Goyim throughout the generations have done that, and today they do that. You find very wealthy families, the children. Have, have, uh, have time, you see a lot of these young yuppies, they go and they go and, and, and they go on a mission to, 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 to cure people, to help people. Usually it's with people who have less diets of day to day, so they, ha- they have the ability to either go on drugs or go to Africa. That's usually what they do. <laughs> but, but, it's, uh, but you find that it's, it's, it's my to the whole year, and people decide they want to dedicate them. People have a hobby that they can go on Mesidus Nefesh for. They can go skiing and die from it. I mean, there's many things that people could... Mesidus Nefesh is nothing Jewish. Parents can die for whatever they want to die for. People have the ability... It's actually another way how we express ourselves. I'm so proud that I have work ethics, that I'm there from 7 till 11. And I don't have any time for family, and I have no time for nothing. People are proud of the sacrifices they make in life. It's, it's a reason to be proud. This is, Seichel leads to these kinds of conclusions, and Seichel gives birth to commitment, to sacrifice, and it's what humans are proud of. Nothing Jewish about it. There's nothing Jewish. Goy can do it, he can do it, any human, any Nadaber can do it. What's the Mercedes message? So what? What's the Mercedes message? No, not the Rukhazi. Not clear. If you really think about it, Avram by your cousin, if Avram would have said, Oh, Nimrod, you're right, I, I give in, you're stuck in Abish, who would have been a loser? Who would have been a loser? The whole life we're running around screaming Abish, Abish, there, and your moment of truth, you, you're backing down. It's almost like expected that he's gonna, he's gonna pull through. I mean, that's gonna be his legacy. Here lies Avram, I committed to this and this ideal. People do that in life. It's called legacy. They wanna have a legacy. So it's part of what humans do. So what's Mysterious Savage? Says that other, what's Mysterious Savage is a whole different story. Ah? The Sikha is here. The Sikha is here. I'll do a little bit inside. Yeah, maybe. yeah I think uh, so. Uh, uh, as we go on, I'll do a little bit inside. You have a yeah, copy. Yeah. So you'll give it up. Yeah. It says that ever what's Mesidus Nefesh? Mesidus Nefesh is something else. Mesidus Nefesh is a mind with Akedah Sitzchak. Why Akedah Sitzchak? For some want to highlight in Akedah Sitzchak that it's sun. That's not the Mesidus Nefesh of Akedah Sitzchak. Okay, it's a sun. There have been many cases throughout history, not only given, where a child, where a son, a c- commitment and sacrifice, part of it is the ultimate, I can, it can even be at expense of a son. That's not where the Mesidus Nefesh of Akedas Yitzchak was so special. I'm not that in where, where is the specialty of Akedas Yitzchak? It's a different one, right here. Abram, in the story. In other words, there's something in the story of Akedah Yitzchak that doesn't make sense. 
that doesn't play to the same tune of the regular commitment that we find in a doctor or, or, or wherever we find the area of commitment. It's a different tune, a different song that's being playing over there. Well, what's, what's, the, what's the uniqueness in the Messiah? It's not better about Kavis. It's hot. Very good. Avram was promised. The Yitzhak Yikar Chazor. Hastis, his whole life, Avram was going around and saying that in the he went around to the whole world telling them that my dedication towards spreading the awareness of the Abishar is going to be continued with Yitzhak Bahadai. Yitzhak was born and this was something that wasn't able to be done and that's what Abishar told me. Yitzhak 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 He's going to go and face the world now. He's going to tell the world what they say. Maybe he's going to tell me to fuck. Who's going to believe it? Who's going to believe it? Not nice. his ego is going to tell him not to do it. His mission is going to tell him not to do it. His mission is going to tell him you can't do this. It's against, it's against the English that he dedicated himself to, to go ahead and do this in the city. This doesn't make sense in the city, not in his, in his balloon, in the balloon. Doesn't make sense. In the criteria of how the English wants things to be, uh, uh, to, to, to run in this world. It doesn't make sense. So what happens? And one morning he goes up a mountain, he's gonna come back down and say, people are gonna think he's such a barbaric. We found out now that this great leader is simply and uh, uh, the whole thing doesn't make sense. Not inside his ego, not inside his mission, not inside his selfishness, inside the mission doesn't make sense. So where does it come that a person doesn't say this message in such a case? If you want to translate it in a different way, where does it come that a, that an older lady in Ukraine sitting over there in front of the crusade, who has no education, who has no understanding. Where does it come that she, and she has no legacy to leave over? Where does it come that she is marching us? Where does it come that a yid who is secular, who has no education in the sense of, of, of surrounding, in the sense of consciousness, where does it come that they suddenly have that sphere of the moment? Can that, where does this is already, this is where we use other terminology. And this is where we have to explain that the Eidish there, the Siddish Nefesh, really is a consequence. The Russian of the Sikh is a very strong Russian. That the Eidish there made a Yidin Sabboide. Creation can be committed. A creation, a person can be committed to an ideal. A creator is the ideal. And these are words that have to be explained. In order to explain this, I gave an example. Yeah, I'm going to show it to you inside. These are very radical words. These are, it, it's essentially taking parent based time, yeah? But using other words for it. And giving us a whole different feeling. Uh, what this means, uh, is that, and that's why I gave the example of a creativity and math. In other words, What's really going on over here is like this. I played it out in two ways. If you recall, there was two ways how I played this out. There was an example of creativity. There was another example of Martin Seder that I brought up, which is another system. What is, what's the example of Martin Seder? Just to play out the same scenario. Avram Avinu scenario of Avinu. Avinu is the Akeda. Avram's uh, great Yiddish and Shalmat plays out in Akeda. Let's see how the Yiddish nation played out, which is going to be the same thing. Yiddish was so excited before Martin Seder. They were canceling for 49 days. Finally comes them up and say, they just couple lame hockey gigas. He's forcing them to accept the trade. A couple lame hockey gigas. He forced them. He took a mountain. He said, if you don't take it, I'm going to drop it on you. Hello. Hockey gigas. I took the mountain. He gigas. Like, he, he put it like a, a barrel on top of their heads. And he says, you accept it? Good. And if not, go to hate for us. Over here, you're going to die. Hello. I'm excited. I can't sleep at night. What are you chilling me for? I'm, I'm excited. Go take your gun and use it to people you have to use a gun on. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I couldn't sleep for 49 days. I finally came to Martin Seder. Well, what are you playing games with me for? What's up? LMI, Goyim are excited to put on Philin. They are. You see, it's my They're wow. very excited to put on a boy. Why? Because it's exciting to do things that are not necessarily your thing. It's very exciting to do many things. Experiences in life, we like to do many things. The, but the question is... It's a, so the question is, 
The question is to do something that's really needs to do something. In other words, like the English there by Martin Sayedo, what did he do? Kofa Lin, he forced a different identity on you. There's nothing that you want. The thing that you're excited for is not the English there. You can be excited for many things. Excitement of a nivra, of a person, and I'm going to explain this with an example of a creativity. The excitement of a person, it, it doesn't reflect on an identity, it reflects on a behavior. There are many ways I can be excited on. The re- excitement of a person, I can be excited for many things. I can be excited to, to eat something. I can be excited to, I can be excited in many ways I can express. But then the question is, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? I'm not going to tell you to change who I am. That's not, and therefore it's a whole different excitement. And that's why I gave the example of that I create creativity, and that's why. A creative child is a different psyche. He looks at things differently. The more his, his, his excitement that he has in drawing is not the excitement that I have when I draw. I don't really understand the appreciate drawing, so I can be excited about it, but it's not me. Not, I'm not expressing myself in drawing. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I, I can visit Amish town. I enjoy it, but I'm not Amish. Right? I can do many things in life and enjoy many things, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's me. Martin Clay to change our identity. took a math kit. That's why he gave an example of math and creative. Because math and creativity is really too, too, too uh, nice. maybe I was told that I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but but Pashtas, uh, creative uh, creativity is it looks at things differently. He he creative is also, I mean, creativity looks at things differently. He's open. You see, he looks at the same picture, he's a differently. Math is very grounded. Maybe should took a new took someone who's very grounded, someone who has has a certain uh, uh, way how what ticks them. Certain things tick them, certain things make them happy, certain things make them satisfied. And now he changed them and now they're not gonna be happy. Why? Until they fulfill their new identity, they won't be happy. No, no, it's like you gave the example of this of a lawyer who uh, you could get so right. Fine. So there was a school. I, I know, I know. Okay, so it's my this well, is another example. How, uh, it was the secretary in my school, and it was her grandson. Well, that he he went to school. He went to law school. He was very very wealthy. He was a very very wealthy lawyer. He's a very wealthy lawyer, and he pushed his son to go to law school. His son went to four years of law school. Spent fortune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. So he went to do something that's him. To force, he can't force someone to be something they're not. What the Yiddish did do is he forced upon us a new identity. A year of a different identity. So Martin Taylor, our excitement before Martin Taylor was like a, was like the law student who was excited to be in law school, although he's not really a law student. He's really a teacher. So he's in the wrong place. So your excitement is because you're looking for an experience. It doesn't last. It's not really you. Davis said then force upon us. Look at force. He changed it. You can't do it on your own. Force is, a, is an expression of something that you can't do on your own. Someone else has to do to you. They used to force upon us a new identity. It became a negotiation. It became a student, a man, a man, a child, a mother. And then there's a youth. The youth is not part of the father. The youth is not a regular human. We're not a regular human. We have a different knowledge. Right and I want to show this in the future. There's a young man, a man, a child, a mother. Let's see this in the future. It's very powerful. A youth is born. There's a creator. And there's the creation. The creation has four parts of it. Doimim, Samea, Chaim, and There's rocks, there's plants, there's animals, humans, and then you have this weird creature called Jew. Kedish the chains, and Yedish took a, a, a yid, and, 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 and took something else in them, and killed it, and you can try and say their mitzvahs, they won't feel satisfied. So creator is usually good. The creator and is a real thing that's part of us. We have a real neshama, we have something really part of us, and that is, it's, it's simply, it's Expresses itself in our tiny world, in our losses, and that's what pulls us to certain places. It's the subconsciousness of us, but it causes in the consciousness that we're never going to feel satisfied until the, the teacher, Nefesh, will, will be in law school 
but he's never going to be happy in the law school until he goes back, and eventually he's going to, uh, uh, no Jew will be left behind. Or, or like you say in the Siddhis, the other year, is, and then the day is going to, is going to come, right? Where does it come from? Why? How do you know? Who said? Because it's you. If it's you, it's going to, eventually it's going to hit you. Because it's really you. What do we say, the example of Hikka and Siva, the, uh, the, 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 the famous rabbi who came to the Torah that was Nimcha. A Torah that, that was, uh, uh, Eskimek the Bitcoin. She says, the Torah means that it's Eskimek. The Torah is Eskimek the Bitcoin. They said it's the, the Yid. The Yid is like, uh, he, he's a Yid that, that, that was a little bit, uh, he, he, he lost his way. So they used the word Eskimek. So the Bitcoin, I think it was a video, he said, he said it's not Eskimek. It's like, uh, when you have a dust. And, and OIC is Khatika. What's Khatika? Khatika means it's your identity. Siva means it's a behavior. Ingrained. Ingrained means it's your identity. Siva, it's you. Writing something is not an identity. It's an additional thing that... It's an expression. Maybe a behavior would be a, a, a word. It could come and it can go. Khatika can go. So this is where an in life, in 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 Taylor, in in the sense of a yid. That's example. So that's the example that I gave. Of the examples I gave, uh, and we find this all the time. The examples I gave then of the of the I like that example of the yid who came to the Chabad house in India, right? And uh, and so he doesn't believe. He doesn't like. He doesn't feel like he's part of anything. And when you told him to step on the Torah, you told him to go into the next room, take the Torah and trample on it. Right? You have an example? Okay, so the example was, he went, there was a, uh, 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 that comes to the Chabad house in India. Kibbutzmik, are not so, uh, 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 they're very liberal. They're not so loving the Torah mitzvah. And that's from the Yiddish. So he comes to the Chabad house and he says, uh, I, 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 uh, he says who he is. I'm someone who's not a mind, man, I can't say. So the Shmiel tells him, take the Torah, go into the next room, do me a favor, rip it up, jump on it, pour some water in it, have a, have a, have a, have a good, uh, simple Torah on it. So the guy says, ah, the lawyer says, the Bishwaka, for you, I'm not going to do it. Uh, I respect you, I'm not going to do it. He said, no, I have no problem, go do it. Right. You can't, you can't do, I could do it to a, to a Christian Bible, I have no problem. I have no problem doing it. This you take a, a creative kid and tell him, I don't allow you to take a paintbrush ever in your life. He's going to say, I can't. Why? I'll pay you a million dollars if you're never going to touch a paintbrush. He's been, he can't resist. The word can't resist is an expression of identity. When you say the word can't resist, a yid nishta ken, nishta vil, is just uprising from Eidishti. Well, you never say nishta ken, nishta vil, on anything other than identity. So really what Hasidus is highlighting is simply a Yid has a core identity that, that's different than the whole three, different than anything else. What is the quote? When, what is Let me tell you. When, no, what is the Bosh when it says, Dhamir Tamea Chai? A Yid is a Bode. 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 The Koyach of Daven, everything comes out of it. The Koyach of Yid Daven, the Koyach of Yid, what's Daven? Chibor. What's a Chibor? Connection to your, to yourself. You're a boy there. You're connecting to the Abisha within you. You and Abisha are one of them. What's one of them? All of these expressions are there to, to highlight that a yid is the Mahusa different. Not Mahusa means in his, in his, in his identity. Essence would mean identity. I like the word identity and behavior. Because if you want to separate the two, that's where, that's the two categories that were highlighted. Behavior is whatever they talk about. I can do many things. I, even enjoyment is, 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 in a sense, not the right way for me to figure out who I am. I can enjoy many things. The question is if I'm enjoying an expression of who I am. So here I have to go back a second to who am I? And this is something we, we ask ourselves in life many times. Who am I? And the yid is different than Mufusa. Which means to say, what is the Russian we say in, 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 um, a yid is a, a, a Tell that the cash and the chitin is not going to have a, uh, it takes away the hanal of the What do these words tell mean? A tongue that ate from the cash of sin, a tongue that ate from the cash of sin, it takes away his hanal of the lamhaza. It takes away his enjoyment in the lamhaza. What do these words mean? What do you mean it takes away? What, what are you, what are you, what are you hacking me at, John? What's taking away? Where are you taking? Where are you, what are you doing? And cash is, and cash is food. It, it, it's an expression. All these expressions are there to tell you. 
very good. Yeah, but all these expressions are here to tell you. All these, all, but yeah, these expressions are here to tell you that the mochusa, you're different. Let me show you the sikh inside. You want to see, I'll show you inside a little bit. And then, you have the sikh in. It's good. I'm going to give it to the, uh, the Yiddish, and let me return That's just a little step. This has to do with Nasa Benishma. This is a missing circuit. I want you to sit down. <coughs> sit down, and then you also... Um, okay, so I'm going to show you two things. Let me, let me start. I'm going to show you, I want to show you the Russian boy, right? So I'll show, I'll, I'll show you two things. Oh, it's with staple gum. Okay, nope. Okay, so I'm going to show you two. I, I want to show you short, just a few. Uh, and page, on page 49, on the first paragraph on top, one paragraph. I want to show you one paragraph. Mm-hmm. Then I'll show you going to get an answer in it. One paragraph. On the V-Bow, the top paragraph. Page four. One paragraph. I want to show you one paragraph. Okay, it's fine. Now. The top paragraph on page 49. On the bald and the Kukni Kadabari, the Abish there is the one that initiated Matan Taira. Therefore, it's understood. And the Yisro is Mishnah Nocha Kug in the Bria. They're not only another category in the creation of the world. The Dukmas and the Nivra, just like other creations. But the Gavar and Nenter, they become closer to Asha. No. It's an Andra Muhu. They are changed in their identity. Allah Nivrayim B'layda Na Messias Nivra. All creations say a creation. But Yidin, the Mahusam, they're a Indian from Zepachite in the Bria. They are avoided in, found in the Bria. Identity, this is, these are just the high Lashonis. Just to show you the Lashonis. This has to be explained. But, but these are the Lashonis we use for a Yid. Which means to say it's not a behavior, but it's an identity. How does this play out in life? I want to go through the whole thing. How does this play out in life? Let's see in Sif Dao. This is going to be a Nasamina in life. Okay, let's see how this In one area of life that we always highlight, Nasa the Nishma. Okay, so let me play this in life. Let me first say, Alta the Nishma. A topic that we find many times, countless times, Kabbalah sale, Nasa the Nishma, um, seems on the outside, like the Yiddish is almost telling you, he's like a good salesman, just do it. Listen to me, trust me, just do it. Why should I do it? I don't understand. But, oh, it's the highest thing to understand. Feeling. Why should I do something when I don't feel for it? If I'm doing it, I don't feel for it, it's not really me. If I feel for something, it's me. If I don't feel for something, it's not me. So you're basically telling me to be something I'm not. This is the big Shiloh persuasion that everybody has in different areas. Where do I feel myself? They call me this, my sense, I have a conviction, I have a feeling, but try, it's regardless. So you're going to tell me the act of God, but it's still not me. Some of them are going to have an It's not a not position. Not position doesn't mean that it's important to get it done. It's almost like you say, the poor man ate, so, so he, you gave him food. Whether you like it or you don't like it, but you did a good thing. That's not a not position. Right? Not only highlighting the act. We're also highlighting that it's your kind of thing. How? I don't feel it. I don't like it. Take a child who's created, let's say an example, and you give him a paintbrush. And the child, let's say, is confused and he thinks he's not good at painting because he was next to a lot of math kids who makes fun of painting and in his head painting is the worst thing because in mind that bubble mice is, right? They, they convince he's him. An artistic but he's an artistic kid, but the essence. And as someone who comes on the side, a therapist, he's, oh, he has a tachosh. But he's not using it. He's convinced not to use it. He takes a kid and you take him into a creative room with a paintbrush and he's kicking and shoving and he's telling you, get me out of here. I don't want to be here. This is not my kind of thing. This is a... And you push him, take the paintbrush in his hand. What's the paintbrush going to do? The paintbrush is going to do who he is. Mm. It's going to awaken in him his genuine, authentic feelings that he has and that he's born with. His kicking and shoving is an expression of his confusion. His being pushed is helping him come in touch with himself. 
That's what not the Mishnah really means. Not the Mishnah really very good. Not the Mishnah. But in other words, what shot shot in the Nasa is because it's for sure going to be a Mishnah, not maybe. And not highlighting the mindset. We're highlighting that this is your thing. And, and that's how Mitzvah get out of Mitzvah. The Mitzvah itself is more ordered within you, the time that you essentially have within you. So it's not, it's not, it's not a fear in the sense of it, it, it's you getting in touch with yourself. What did you say? It's the oil of the tam? It's the, the feeling that you... That you that the case for... The a mitzvah takes away to the confusion that we have. So, so what does the Rebbe always say? What does the Rebbe always say? Tam mm-hmm. is taste. Yeah. What does the Rebbe always say? That if a person doesn't feel for something, they, it, you see this many times, you see the what's the show when they learn something the first one, and then after they do a mitzvah. So the mitzvah has to come. Nothing to say. You understand? You do a mitzvah. And we always do the mitzvah first. What's, uh, it's not just a sale of the it's not, it's because there's, there's a hashkaf of the thing. A, a, a chasm understands what a yid really is. A yid is not, they say, there are those who look at you described just like you look at a professional, just like you look at anything else, and first develop a, a case for it, and then you do it. So although, yeah, not for the Ishmael, but at the end of the day, I want them to really have it. And if I want it to last, you have to have a, a case for it. And, and we say that way, you're not making anybody, there's no yid, there's no keto. What's the vehicle and the people? Different people are saying there's more and there's less. There's no more and there's no less. There's confusion. So confusion. Everybody's confused in different ways. So the confusion we can take away. So you're, doing it. You're, you're actually taking away the confusion because they're coming in touch and, and, they, and, they, and, and they actually feel stuff. So let's sit down with the other thing. It's on the bottom of page... Page 50. 50. Let me let me just let me just highlight the one paragraph that's gonna highlight I want to go to the 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 third paragraph into the Dalit. Okay? One. Which is really on page fifty one. Emmet Haka, yes. Emmet Haka is a given if I state Thomas doesn't up out from time to see the boil. Even true, even before you understand, you shouldn't hold yourself back from doing something. Not the Nishma. So this is something that people understand. Uber Megala, he's gonna see that there's then and the day will rise and hold that it's by faith in you. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead when I meet someone else, I'm gonna do the mind. I'm gonna get him to do something. But you know what I feel? I feel bad. I feel bad that I'm telling him to do something, but he doesn't feel it. So even though I'm pushing people to do some mitzvah, but I feel like it's not wholesome. So that is, is is verbalizing the frustration that we sometimes have when we have someone else do something and they don't actually feel it. We feel like it's not real. We feel like it's not, I go to someone and I come with what I'm still in. So I know I'm doing a mitzvah because he's putting on phone, but I feel like I'm not really doing the real mitzvah. Why? Because it's not genuine. It's not really feeling the need to do it. Or myself, I wake up one morning and I'm not interested in putting on phone. And I'm doing it anyway. So I feel like it's not genuine. I feel like I'm missing. Half I have to do not of initial, but I feel in myself that I'm missing something. Comes along not of initial and teaches us you're not missing. There's no authenticity that's missing. Authenticity is simply an expression of who you are. This is, this is who you are. Why do we give an example of a vitamin for a mitzvah? The vitamin is, and let's say even the prescription of the doctor gave for this specific person to take this specific vitamin, because that's, that's what your body needs. So in other words, what this means to say is, the feelings, this will trigger health in your body. Whether you feel it or not, it, it, it's going to make you feel. It's going to make you feel. Now, to the nishma, the pesul really is, is is it's similar because the way to the type of it, it, it means to say, eventually I'm going to come to myself. Eventually, at the end of the day, a person a person uh, pierces through uh, all the clouds. And recognizing, hey, this is my kind of thing. Eventually, that 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 uh-huh. creative kid, even though you gave him a candy in the beginning to take the paintbrush, but eventually he's like, oh, this is after my kind of thing. I love it. Thank you so much for for bringing me to the point of paint. You know, I never felt so good that I'm thinking. It's really my kind of thing. I don't need the candy anymore. It's my kind of thing. I was really waiting. I never felt good until the moment that I took that paintbrush. In the beginning, I was like kicking and shouting, but and you gave me candies, and I thought it's because of the candies, and I just didn't want to fight with you. But now I actually feel good. That's, 
Tehát ez bitulja, ez a mennyi, ez a bitulja, az egy nekes famíli incident, And that's the same, same idea of, of the, of the microphone. Huh? Kavan is a separate thing. Kavan is when we're able to... Kavan is when a person has... A Kavan is... What's a Kavan? Kavan is, is a feeling that we have. At that moment, we're, 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 we're wholesome. There's the conscious part of the person, and there's a subconscious. Kavana is like, after he says, oh, I have to feel good, that's Kavana. That means he feels what he really has within him. The Kavana, what's a Kavana? Kavana means a feeling. Kavana means an appreciation, right? Kavana is an appreciation, a feeling, an appreciation to what you're, to what you're doing, right? And that only happens, that can either happen afterwards, it takes a while for a person to develop a feeling to what they do. Or it can happen before, in the sense that they, that they initially had a feeling to what they're doing. But Nasa is obviously a point when a person doesn't have a feeling. But what he does have a feeling. So there's two ways. Either you develop a feeling, or he's saying that my self is going to bring you a feeling because it's talking to you. That's what he's saying. Are you equating Yeah, I am equating it. Because it's interesting, I know that it's focused, 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 I know that it's Kavon is, uh, is when you're playing with your child, so you don't have to consciously have Kavon. You're enjoying it. Kavon is not, I am now doing something shame. Uh, so. They're enjoying it. They're enjoying it. I don't know. Are you supposed to think Rob is before? I'm sure they enjoy it. If they do, they enjoy it. So what's the thing that when you have this hear her? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying kavana is not something that you that you take. Kavana is a real thing. You, you, you like it. It's not kavana. Oh, you're now having kavana. That's that's baloney. Kavana. You like it. Enjoy. Expression of feeling. Okay. So really, we we spoke about a lot of these things. The idea of a muna. Really, what I wanted to to mention is. What's the thing with the, that you have a hero of Kavana? But uh-huh. you come to the davening, you have and zin in that you're going to daven with Kavana, you're so excited, and you come to actually davening, and you're like, <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> and it happens so often. <laughs> you're saying, what, what are you asking? Where does it come from? No, it's like you're saying that, you know, when you do something, you could sometimes have the want to do something. You're saying it's, it, it ends up growing on you, but not always. Sometimes you have this really desire, and then it comes to actually doing it. Nothing manifests. I mean, so you're you're expressing a frustration that you don't feel the kavan. That's what you say. Yeah. A, a frustration of nothing. No, that's you a normal frustration. A moon is, and that's, and that's what I want to talk A moon is doesn't make, a, um, the fact that we know that we have a pencil a year, the fact that we know that it's engraved, the fact that the child is born creative doesn't mean that he has now, when a child comes home and it's just in the report card, you have a child who has great talent, that's not something to be proud of, right? Because the, he hasn't developed his talent. The fact that we know that we're born to, with this great Koyachomuna doesn't mean that we have it in our conscious mind. Right. And that's the frustration, and that's exactly the challenge is that Amuna does not address. This is exactly the this is exactly the thing. There's a there's a there's a, there's a but what I want what I want to bring out is there's a beautiful way uh, in certain circles there's a heter not to go to work with the yamas. To work with the yamas. By the fire. 
Uh, not necessarily. No, 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 not 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 It's it's prevalent. No, I, I it, 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 it doesn't go with that. It, it goes, but regardless, it doesn't make a difference in which circle. It, 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 there's a hector. There's my question is this: Why certain people have that question and certain people don't? What's the question? Like they feel sticking out. They feel like they stick out at work, and they're going to lose. Same profession. Two lawyers come to work. Same firm. And one person is going to say, I can't wear a gown here. It's going to make me lose money. It's going to make me stick out. And one person comes to the same firm and has a gown. I never thought about that question. It doesn't come from a winner. They both have a winner. That's the idea. Conviction. Proud. Certain things we're proud of. And that comes from a thought process and a mindset. And that's what considered it for. And when you're born, I think you're just born with a money. Why certain things I feel proud of and certain things in my character? That's, that's not a baby. That's, that's simply a condition of life. In so many different ways. Right? So you think it's with education or something? This is education. This is that. This is what the school is really there to give a person a sense of conviction. Conviction for these kinds of that's why, why this person's a bad person? It's a way how, that is this exactly, this point. That is this. That is conviction. That is pride. That is when a person says, what do you mean? That's just who I am. What do I am? Certain things, yes. Yeah, certain things, not. That takes time. That takes effort. And one doesn't address that. The more you're born with, I mean, it's not that you're going to have. But this conviction won't happen all the time. The one is natural. One is natural. But this is an expression of how the moon is in a consciousness. He's thinking that way. The moon is not just in the heart and the name and the state of snapfish, but it's in his mind. He says, yeah, this is just who I am. I'm proud of it. This is... And he's going to explain. He's going to go wherever he's going to go. He's going to go like that. He never saw it. Like a... It becomes his identity. That's the moon. No, this is how the moon is going into the mind. This is how the moon becomes the idea. This is how the mind is now saying, hey, this is the kind of person I am. To the extent well, that I can't. It's uncomfortable. I don't like it, but I can't get it. I, 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 I so that's, that's the second before condition. Conviction is that, this is, this is how I see it. Uh-huh. Conviction is how, how I see it. It's already, it's already grew on you. You're already, this is how I see it. It becomes part of your life. Why would I give that up? That's, that, I'm very, I'm very proud of that. It's like, would you give up your son for adoption? You, <laughs> 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 it, 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 it's, it's the kind of thing that you, that you, that you, know, it, 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 you know it, it's, this is, this is my thing. Why should I give it up? That's conviction. That's that. That's a whole different, that's a different ballgame. The whole idea of this is to come. That's why, that's why you use the word by that. When you other the other it, it, it becomes one. That is when it becomes one. How the other kava. What's that? That is when there's no, there's no but. And end. Hundred percent open it becomes one. That's a different that's a that's a different stage. And Muna leads to frustration. Because at the end of the day my mind doesn't necessarily agree or digest everything that I have within my heart and Muna. And that's frustrating. So you end up with moments like the Yamaka and you end up with different kinds of moments. The Red Lion story, which I really liked, was a major thrill. Years ago, there was a drought in the, in the year 2000. And the Canary goes ahead of Red Lion. And it hits the Red Lion. You can't see if they're doing water from Turkey. It's a real story. It's a real story. It sounds like Calum, but it's a thrill. Sometimes it looks like Calum. So they... they so I just, it looks like Calum sometimes. It, it feels and looks like and sounds like Calum. But, uh, but uh, so they wanted to bring water from Turkey. So they had a uh, session in the Knesset. And what did they decide? They came up with an amazing solution. They lowered the red line. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> this is, this is they lowered, but there's no problem. They lowered the red line. It's not an emergency. You don't have to do it. So, so that's... Yeah, this is a story. This is a real story. This is a real story. So, well, the reason behind it, because usually, I mean, there's a... There's a, there's a there is a, uh, a, a reason. The logic behind it is because they, they calculated it's going to be rain soon. Every red line has a has a has a uh, room for uh, you know a room room to move. You know, there's nothing really red in life. 
red becomes yellow becomes green. So, uh, so therefore, they, yeah, but but it, it, there's always uh, there's nothing uh, really that's red. And so, so they, you know, they say they say that uh, the law is voted in. So the word, so, so I'm going to vote against it. There's nothing really red, right? Yeah. But if, if, if it does show, it shows. It, it, I thought it's a good uh, muscle, if you wish. You know, it's red until I hit it, and then it goes lower. But if it's really you, it doesn't really go lower. If it's something that it's got unhealthy, and I have to hold on to something and say, this is red, this is red, so then eventually it's going to let go. But if it's something that's how I see it, then you don't let go. There's a nice story, a different story, to the flip side, that I once heard from a lawyer. He said it was a good student that once graduated in Ivy League co- uh, College, and he, was, he went to an interview in a top law firm. So they have like these uh, coaches that prep you before you go into these interviews, like a coach from this, or from there. Anyway, they prepped this, he was a, he was a film student. They prepped him. And they told him to take off his yarmulke when he goes into the when he goes into the interview, because his chances for for getting a good position and, and you know, a lot of people don't want that position. They go, yeah, look at the yarmulke, take out. Okay, I'll back in a minute. Comes into the interview. They told him. They asked him, right? What's the whole interview? In the end, they asked him, Vladimir, the ankle with the yarmulke. <laughs> so he said, uh, blushed. He told him, he says, listen. We know your grades. We know everything about you. They, they really do a lot of research before you come into these. Uh, they know everything about you. Did you know you have yarmulke? Of course you have yarmulke. One of the things we wanted was a lawyer for the defense attorney. He goes into the, goes into the, into the courtroom. He looks at the guy, says what he has to say. He doesn't really care about anybody in the courtroom. This is mine. But you're a wishy-washy guy. <laughs> we can't take such people over here. We're looking for a lawyer. We're looking for someone. We saw that you're the only summer student in your whole class. We thought this was a sign of perseverance. It's a sign of a strong-minded person. We see that you're the other way around. You're a wishy-washy guy. In the case of the boots. So, so, the other way around. So, you know, sometimes you think... But again, this is all... This is all that. You only let go of things when it's not you. This is all a different area where... This is in Amunna and Da. And this is the difference between Amunna and Da. Another example I have is the difference between an investor or a professor of economics. I'll finish with this example. What's the difference between the two? You see, the rich people, you go, you go into university, the professor of economics he gives data to them. How come they know this? How come they don't have all the money in the world? The professor of economics, how come they. They can do and those who can do. So what's, what's really the answer? The answer is, because when these professors of economics are sitting in front of the investor, the investor is listening to all the data, the investor has to put his money into it. They don't. They're happy if they're printed in a nice journal. That's the data. The investor, he listens and says, what about this and this thing? Good point, but only 1% chance. Okay, it's not your money, right? It's my money. I'm going to invest. Yeah, but I'm saying there's another point here. The point over here is when you're only looking for a nice idea and it's not your own skin in the game, you don't dig deep enough. Mm-hmm. When you have skin in the game, that's when you dig deep until it's you. He said, an investor calls it his baby. Uh, an economic professor calls it an idea. It's a very big difference. And an investor has explored this to the extent that they feel this is my kind of thing. They don't let go of it. They're going to lose money, and they know they're going to make money because they explore it to the extent of making it their baby. The economic guy, it's a nice idea. There's a lot of nice ideas in books and shows, full of ideas. It doesn't mean you are the idea. It doesn't mean you are so convinced of that idea that you put skin in the game. Let me store it. Putting skin in the game is that. And one of the things you're born with, but you put skin in the game, that's that. Getting the game means that you're going to live your life with that. It's going to become your baby. Like, that's really, there's a difference between the city of Snapchat at the moment, or well, like in Russia, where you live in the city of Snapchat, or, or even in America, where a person can live with certain, certain challenges. That's already a different story. That's that. That comes from a conviction. That comes from a certain mindset. That comes from a certain mind process. That's a different story. That, a moon can leave you, in a sense, with your conscious mind of doubt. And even the benefit of the doubt is still doubt. So it's not conviction. It's the say, say, it's our thing. And that is a different story. That's why we're talking about that. That's the, that everything. 
becomes you, becomes you. Right. And then it doesn't wait anymore. Once you fear, there's always challenge, but but that but it, once your mind, once your mind speaks with it, like like the example of the Namaste, like the example of everybody has certain things that that if you look at something, how can you? And then and I also have certain things now, but you look, and then not always did I always have that. Sometimes I develop it. How does it happen many times through life itself? It teaches you. Not many times uh, either life itself or you saw or together. Usually usually it's life that teaches the person. No. Challenges yeah. themselves teach you the the teaching you what what really is and that's really yeah. The, the example that I'll give of challenges, the example of a modern day example, people don't even realize how this is a major example, is BNH. Why BNH? BNH is a company. Retail, for retail to be open, to be closed in Shabbos, does not make sense. To be the biggest in retail and closed in Shabbos is an oxymoron. It simply does not make sense in economics. And for them to be a powerhouse in retail, Close and shop with their hudurim. They're not stunned close and shop. That's what that sh- yeah, that shows, that shows how the clothing that we think are not necessarily real. But it's amazing. If you ask any businessman, in other words, in other words like this. In other words like this. I would, if I would start a business and I would ask an advisor, they would tell me your business will not succeed if you could have a retail that's closed and shop. And I, 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 I can witness to that. When I first started, and this is at the story, when I first started to work, I worked for a firm, and this guy wanted to invest um, in a business and open a store, a retail uh, chain in mall, and they told him, they told him that if you're going to be closed on Saturday, do not go and invest, and he dropped the investment. Right. This is a firm he did, and he dropped it. Mm-hmm. It's, so, it's an oxymoron. Does that make sense? So he didn't open the store. Because they were told the mall, the mall will tell you that it's not going to be open. No, I'm not saying that it's not going to be open. They said that Saturday, it's not going to be open. And if you're going to do that, you're going to invest because you're going to end up using it. So you know the story. Ravaya bought a mall in Amatavik. Amatavik was a very secular neighborhood. That mall, he decided to close it on Shabbat. Now, I happen to make an accountant who was involved in that deal. He told me when he said to close the shop, it's equivalent to a car driving a three wheel. It's a gate mitch. It doesn't work. They told him you can do it if you wanted to miss the shop. But if you're looking at an investment, <laughs> you're going to lose your money. It doesn't work. I in action and they had a, a lawsuit against him from the store owners because he's going to make them lose money. What happened in the end? So my answer, true story. Today, you look it up. Yet that mall is one of the best investment that you make in Israel in the sense of mall it's a, it's a very good income you get from that mall today. Why? People change the behavior pattern. Believe it or not, people start a job big on Sunday. In Israel in Israel Sunday is a regular day. And and so the the, the the shopping pattern that originally was part of the calculation of the accountant changed afterwards. So however you want to explain it the, the bottom line is, he hit a life challenge, and it didn't make sense for him to go, but he stuck to certain principles. For him, it was like a yamaka, right? And eventually, eventually, it also made sense. Let me ask something. You were saying that because he changed the pattern of the, of the people of mind, when he thought... I'm not saying he changed. I'm saying what happened. As a consequence, people change. How do, how do you make money? You can't make money if no one buys, right? If you're going to be closed and no one's buying and that, and no one's buying, then, then, you're, then, then you're not making money, right? As a consequence, but it wasn't predicted before. Afterwards, when they saw they're making money, they said, the accountant said, let's, let's, let's try to see what happened over here. And they realized that whatever it was, people decided to, they changed their pattern of shopping, whatever it was, right? And people like those things, you know? And, you come from friends or something like So it played out, but it wasn't expected. What I'm saying is, many times we hit areas that seem 
like it's impossible. Almost like that lawyer who, who, who was convinced by his, uh, by his um, uh, coach that going with a yarmulke is going to impede a job and it will be the other way around. It's easier said than no. When a person hits those moments, it's, but challenge is a direct consequence of conviction. And challenge is sometimes add, not always add. I mean, it depends how it plays out.